Alrighty, so in today's video, you're going to see Extreme Sky Flyer get completely removed. In fact, even in this footage you're seeing before your eyes, before it's completely removed, it already looks so weird. So at around 11 a.m., um, most of the structure, the arch, was completely down, um, and the two little uh, drop I don't know what you call them. They arc away from each other. They, they're the ones that pull you up and then you drop from there. Those towers, uh, one of them was down and the second one was coming down. So as you can see here, um, it, the final like little piece was coming down. And then when we flew at 4 p.m., uh, the whole thing was down. So again, very interesting. Now, what's interesting about this development with Extreme Skyflyer coming down is a lot of us, including myself, are under the assumption that this could be for the 2025 coaster. But what I find even more interesting is our observation of the Backlot restaurant um, being kind of under renovation in quotations, if that is what's going on, um, is happening as well at the same time. So there is a small chance that this could be for a larger project that isn't a part of the 2025 coaster. Now, I will say um, it would be really cool to see some sort of amazing element come right up to the front gate and take up this plot of land. So that's, fingers crossed, what I'm hoping for with the removal of Extreme Sky Flyer. But who knows? Um, I want you guys to comment down below what you think ultimately is going to replace Extreme Sky Flyer. Is it going to be a VIP area? Is it going to be the 2025 coaster? Or is it going to be a flat ride or something completely unrelated? Um, but yeah, here you go at around 4 p.m. yesterday, um, March 5th, Extreme Sky Flyer was officially removed from Canada's Wonderland in its entirety. Obviously, the foundations for the towers still need to be dug out. Um, but other than that, nothing is remaining of Extreme Sky Flyer. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.